visitors can share the post with their entire professional network. Flickr is an online tool that enables you to manage and share digital photos. It offers various methods for sorting, categorizing, and tagging images. People can comment and rate your pictures, and you can make all or just some of your photos private or viewable to select friends and family. As of December 2010, the site was hosting 5 billion images. That's more than 3,000 images uploaded per minute. Although you can create a free Flickr account, we strongly recommend that you upgrade to a pro account. Fetching Communications has one, and it's only $25 per year. A pro account gives you extra features like the ability to create collections, unlimited photo uploads up to 20 megabytes per photo, unlimited video uploads including HD video, unlimited storage, the archiving of high resolution original images, ad free browsing and sharing, view count and refer statistics, and most important of all, the ability to create infinite sets. Hooray for organization! Sets are Flickr's version of photo albums and are essential when it comes to creating embeddable slideshows. Now I'm going to walk you through grabbing the code to embed a Flickr slideshow. The first step is to navigate to Flickr and sign into your account. I'm going to sign into my personal Flickr account so that we can create a slideshow featuring my mischievous miniature schnauzer Baxter. Your photo stream contains all of the photos you have uploaded to Flickr, but for this example, we want to create a slideshow of a specific set. So let's scroll back up and select the Baxter the Wonder Schnauzer set, because frankly, he is the most adorable dog in the world. Once the set pulls up, we're going to click on the slideshow button in the upper right hand corner. Next, we're going to click on the share button. You can grab a basic link to the slideshow or the HTML code to embed the slideshow on your website or blog. If you want to resize the slideshow so that it fits in an allotted space, click on the customize HTML link. And we're going to adjust the size here. Okay, now, when you copy and paste your HTML, always paste it directly from the source. Or if you're creating several different widgets to add to your website or blog all at once, drop the HTML code into a text editor in order to strip any formatting. Never drop it into Microsoft Word because Word will add all kinds of hidden formatting that totally messes up the code. So I've logged into the back end of the Fetching website, which is a custom WordPress installation, by the way. And I want to add this slideshow to a page on our website. So let me navigate to the pages and then where do we want to put it? Let's put it on the Fetching University page. Okay, I'm going to make sure to click over to the HTML editor, grab the code from my text editor, and then paste it onto the page. Let's put it at the bottom. Click Update to save your changes. And then preview to make sure the slideshow posted correctly. There it is, ta-da! There you have it. When viewing the slideshow, visitors can even select full screen mode, here we go, to view the images without navigating away from your website or blog. The only other official widget Flickr offers is a rather basic photo badge. It's incredibly simple, but it gets the job done. You can choose either an HTML or Flash badge, just keep in mind, however, that Flash applications aren't viewable on iPhones because Apple and Adobe, they don't get along. You can also choose the number of photos displayed, what content is displayed, the orientation, either horizontal or vertical, so it fits best on your website or blog, and even the background color. However, this is one case where I suggest you skip the official widget and opt for a user-generated widget. Flickr has an open application programming interface. API for short. This means that anyone can write their own program to remix Flickr data, like photos, video, tags, profiles, or groups, in new and different ways. Flickr relies heavily on its community of users to develop and distribute widgets. These offerings can be found in a section of the site known as V2. 
the App Garden. This is where developers can showcase and share the applications they've created. My favorites include the Flickr Badge Maker and the Picto Browser Slideshow Widget.